So a few days ago we got the news that uh, Northvolt will invest 750 million in uh, Westeros. It's uh, gonna establish the world first research and development campus for battery ec eco ecosystem. And uh, Northvolt, for you who don't know, was funded in 2015 by this guy Peter Carson. I'm impressed by him. Uh, he was the founder and uh, now there are about 1200 uh, employees and you can see here also found some pictures of Kungsleden who is the real estate agent that probably rents out uh, to uh, Northvold and here is the plan for the future. I thought we would take a look how it looks now before they make all this uh, 750 million investment. So the plant uh, that they or the system, the ecosystem that they're, they're building here, is uh, sort of for battery recycling and battery system development. They have a factory up in Sheleftio that is going to produce uh, most of them, I guess. But they probably will develop and and use techniques, uh, uh, manufacturing techniques here, and uh, so on. Anyway, as far as I understand, uh, I will I will go around here checking things out how they are now, uh, 2021 October, and uh, this is uh, Westeros, a town Westeros in Sweden, and uh, we will see if this will emerge as a European battery industry site. Uh, they will build a new campus here out from uh, Northvolt Labs and uh, there, there, are this, there already are existing cell indus industrialization here, the plant, and uh, they're gonna use uh, testing facilities uh, adjacent to the plant and also have a recycling plant that I think will be called Revolt Pilot. Revolt Pilot. This will feed the recycled raw materials directly into on-site production. So this uh, site will uh, have activities relating to lithium-ion battery design, it says in the press release. And it will also include the life cycle sort of development and, uh, uh, from active materials and cell design and also through battery systems and recycling. Pierre Carlson uh, the founder, or he now calls himself co-founder, and he also is the CEO of Northvolt. This is what he said, I quote him, there is today an irreversible momentum surrounding the switch to battery electric solutions. Northvolt Labs is being expanded in order to capitalize on this, to drive the transition at even greater speeds towards safe, sustainable battery solutions by ex establishing a campus where industrial actors can engage, surrounded by all necessary facilities, it is our belief that we can create the necessary foundation for Europe to emerge as a leading region of, for a technology that is at the heart of, of the race to decarbonize. I end quote. So, this, is, uh, this new facility is already under construction as you can see in this video and uh, there will be a, I think it will be 15,000 square meters new office built uh, and it will support uh, the headcount from 400 persons that it is today to at least 1,000 persons on, uh, on this site who will work uh, at Northvolt Labs. Additionally, a new customer center will be established to serve as a space for partners and startups and scale-ups, academia to meet and collaborate and collectively drive forward uh, European industry players engaged in battery technologies and electrifications. So I found that uh, Northvolt's mission, this is from Twitter, is that I I don't can't I can't read the whole thing I don't know why they why they didn't put it there but maybe too long but they they're on a mission to establish a supply of sustainable batteries in Europe 
that that at least I can read out. And if I read on their homepage, they say that they're making green batteries for a blue planet. So they're catching on the green, the green uh, meme. And uh, it says we're in the battery business, manufacturing with clean energy. So they're using much uh, renewable uh, energy there. That's why they put uh, the the Skellefteå plant up in the, the northern Sweden, where there's a lot of water power. And uh, I, I continue here on the website. It says that uh, our mission is to deliver batteries with an 80 percent, 80 percent lower carbon footprint compared to those made using coal energy. So they're trying to build something good here. They're trying to be a part of the modern society and trying to to uh, recycle uh, batteries from probably from cars in the future they can uh, you can get a you you turn in your old batteries and you get a discount for buying a new or something like that. That is what I've heard Peter Carlson talk about at least. I listened to his summer talk here in Sweden. He talks in Sweden, he's Swedish, but it's a really good talk. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about what uh, what they're doing here in uh, the town. It's a pretty. Uh, we have a pretty good uh, uh, automation uh, people here in the region, and uh, yeah, I think it's a good place to put the development. Uh, yeah, I'm a. I am a bit fascinated fascinated by the the cranes here, as you can probably tell. Uh, anyway. Continue down here checking things the framework here. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but if you know, please comment in the Yeah, comment <laughs> in that uh, comment section And uh, yeah, this is a big crane also I really don't know they're probably lifting the the, the beams or something like that Yeah, this is uh, this is on the Saturday, so they're still working, but it sounded like there were Polish people or something like uh, were working. So there are people from all the world, from all over the world. I can tell that uh, there are a lot of Asians here in uh, walking around the, the, the plant. You always uh, meet a lot of probably Japanese or something like that. So yeah. Uh, this is a quote uh, I heard him say on the Fully Charged show. You can read it, pause it, and uh, I will not uh, repeat it. But that's pretty much it, what I got. We will see what the next update will be. I probably will will do another one when there has been a more advanced progress. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.